What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Hella Handmade Creations, December 2020, to show you guys. I have four of the contributions for this month to share. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First up is by Danny Viana. This is Oompa Loompa, described as an orange to moss green polish with scattered hollow throughout. This is part of her mixtapes series. Price is 12 and there's a cap of 100 bottles. So the formula on this is super smooth. If you guys have been following along with any of my features for this brand, uh, at this point I'm repeating myself that uh, really wonderful formula. For opacity, I think two coats is gonna be perfect for it. I really can't see many needing to go to a third and it does dry down quite flat. So you're gonna wanna use a good glossy top coat. Now this is very temperature reactive and I had no issues with it. It, um, getting stuck in either of the cold or the warm state. I think both are pretty earthy and cool toned for the most part. Now this will come with a uh, little vial of uh, pigment reviver in case yours dies in transit as these are coming from Brazil. And you can see here on the ice water shot, uh, easy, easy transformation between the warm and the cold state. And next is Femme Fatale. This is Peppermint Pinwheel, described as a luxurious red shimmering holographic micro glitter accented with silver hollow flakies. This is part of her candy series. Price is 14 and there is no cap. So I actually swatched this one um, about a month ago. I get these really early and I was super excited to show you guys this one. I'm always talking about glitters and uh, full coverage glitters and this one is amazing. I think it's really perfect for this month. I would just Describe this one as more of a somewhat warmer type of red. Um, I think it's very much one of those holiday sort of reds. Lots and lots of glitter for this one. Now, some might need a third coat for this. It's really going to depend on the length of your free edge and how you apply, but I honestly thought it was perfect at two coats. Now this dries down very flat on the textured side, so you're gonna wanna use some type of glitter smoothing top coat, which is what I used here, and then finish off with a glossy top coat, and it'll give you that really satisfying, glossy-like appearance that is super blingy. And next we have Night Owl Lacquer. This is Princess Zelda. Described as a white curly with copper shimmer, copper and aqua glass flex, and loads of copper to gold to green crystal chameleon flakes. This is part of her Breath of the Wild series. Price is $12.80 and there is no cap. So this has a very true curly like formula to it. It's got quite a bit of a squish factor on the brush strokes and it dries down quite flat, which in my opinion is characteristic of um, just straight up true type of crellies. So the base color is white, but it almost, almost feels like an antique white to me. And I think that's because it's just so full of shimmer and flakes. In person, this has a very strong white opal-y sort of appearance with it. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest going in for three coats on it. I classify myself as having a pretty prominent free edge, and I think it covered up very well on that second coat. If you are rocking shorties or you don't have that uh, super white sort of free edge like I do, then you might be able to get away with two coats, but three coats, I think it just plumped it out very, very nicely. Now, again, this dries down really flat, so I finished off with a glossy top coat, and it really helps to have those shifts from the flakes. And last but not least, we have Rogue Lacquer. This is the palace, described as a rich maroon crelly with crushed gold and micro hollow flakes. This is part of her London series. Price is 12 and there is no cap. So um, there are quite a few reds this month as I was scrolling through the site, and I think they're decently different, at least the two that I worked on for this uh, series. And this one I would describe as definite maroon action. It's way cooler toned than say the Femme Fatale. This also has quite a bit of those crushed gold flakes in it. So I think, in my opinion, I think if you are on the fence about either one, I personally think they're different enough to own both. Now this has a, um, somewhat curly formula but it applies more on the creamy side if you ask me and it also dries down quite flat i think two coats is perfect for it and i'm going to suggest a good glossy top coat to seal this one up to finish it off 
Now the Hella Handmade Creations shop is currently open for wish listing. If you want to get in there and see a sneak of what's going to be released this month, the pre-order starts December 14th at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Time and will run until December 21st at 11.59 p.m. HST. I will link both the Facebook group and the website below in the description box if you want to check that out. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.